Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Faceman Art. If you're unfamiliar with me, I'm a digital artist, except sometimes I am not. And I just want to get this video started by apologizing. I want to get ahead of the allegations because we are going to be talking about the most oppressed group of people that is the streamers. And, and I don't want people to think I'm dogpiling on these people. You know, they, they have it hard enough. Over the past couple of weeks, I have been creating a series of fan arts of some of my favorite streamers. Um, all of it was done live on Twitch, Faceman Art, if you're interested in, in catching some live streams. And it's definitely one of the strangest projects I have committed myself to. But let's get into why this idea percolated in my brain in the first place, and it all started on one dark, desolate night. I was just trying to consume some content to take my mind off the, the troubles of the world. And I came across a Cody Ko video. I've, I've been a fan of Cody Ko for a long time. I think he's a great creator. I think he's funny. While watching this video, I paused it. Maybe I needed some water or something. And inspiration struck. Similar to Van Gogh witnessing the beautiful Starry Night and creating a masterpiece there in Of, I was inspired and I created this piece. It really struck a chord with, with my own heart internally. And um, I ended up posting it on the Cody Co Reddit. Because the community loved it so much, it was that seed of, of inspiration and, and community feedback and conversation that inspired me to pursue what we're talking about today. And that is a larger fan art series of some of my favorite streamers. Now, Cody Co didn't make the cut for these three. Fuck them. So the idea for this project was kind of twofold. The first one, obviously, from that spark of creativity that came from creating that Cody Co art. Um, the second point that I wanted to get to was also, it kind of creates this timeline of my own experience consuming streaming. So yeah, those are the two main reasons why I started this project in the first place. It seems like an idea that's kind of out of the blue and random, and, and it really is, but there, there is method to the madness. And uh, yeah, with all that said, we can kind of get into the people that I decided to draw. It makes the most sense to start at the end. So without further ado, let's get to the first streamer, Squeaks. No, you son of a bitch, get the fuck up there. Whereas Dirt goes. <laughs> let's go, Brandon. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. No, I don't. I just don't want to sit here and look at all the lols. Listen, guys, I'm just a human being. I'm a content creator, not your punching bag. Am I a cuck? Oh, by Vec Ramaskor. I mean, that squeaks. What can you really say about a man that has already had so much said about him? No, really, what can you say? I just started watching him. As I stated in the intro, we're going to start at the end. Squeaks is the newest addition to my uh, Pokemon catch em all of streamers. I just started watching him over the last few months, and I really do mean what can you say about him that hasn't already been said. He feels very loved within the streaming community. I know he's been streaming for a long time, but has only recently gained prominence in the last year or so, and has made a big impact in that short time. If you're unfamiliar with who Squeaks is, he is a Super Mario 64 speedrunner, a CSGO professional gamer. He plays a lot of kids games and he is balding. All right, on to the next streamer. Boys! No, no, with all jokes aside, he really is beloved in the community. And, and it's easy to see why if you tune into any of his streams, he has an infectious personality that you just want to love. Even if you want to disparage him in the chat, it just feels like there is a uh, an aura of, of good energy and good vibes around him. I use this kind of happy-go-lucky atmosphere that he seems to exist in as inspiration for the art. As I mentioned, there is an ongoing joke that he is balding, and that's all it is. It's a joke. There's, It's not really founded in any sort of reality or realism, but I wanted to take this inside joke and really incorporate it into that atmosphere of positivity that I mentioned before. So you have balding, positive atmosphere, and the last element that I added was Mario from Super Mario 64, among other games. And using these three elements, I tried to create a fan art that was kind of tongue-in-cheek in how beautiful it was. Now, obviously, Squeaks is a very beautiful man, but I really tried to accentuate 
all of his features as best I could to make them, you know, as beautiful as I can in my own personal weird style. And I think it came out really, really cool. And I do want to clarify, and I mentioned this throughout the streams, I'm not out to hurt anyone's feelings. And, and if I do in some way, you know, contact me, I'll take down the video, whatever it is, because this is all hopefully in fun and appreciation. That's all. This is all too real talk. Let's get back to the jokes. I wanted to add a twist to this beautiful rendition or fan art of Squeaks that I had created. And that came in the form of a murdered Mario laying in the background of the fan art that has been scalped and Squeaks has taked the sculpt hair of Mario and placed it upon his own head to cover his own insecurities of balding. It was a very dark turn. What can I say? I'm a prisoner of my own uh, creative vices and I need to make things weird and uncomfortable. Otherwise it doesn't feel good to make. Maybe that's a commentary on some kind of damaged piece deep within me, but I don't address that. Instead of going to therapy, I draw weird fan arts of streamers. And if anyone says it's not healthy, you can get the fuck off this channel. Don't make me go to therapy, I'm scared of what I'm gonna dig up. And with that final element, I had completed the fan art of Squeaks. Truly a, a beautiful rendition of a beautiful man. It was weird, disgusting, I feel bad about it, and I'm happy with how it came out. All of that said, we're moving on to the second streamer that I drew, Ludwig. Boys, let's go! I just got 130 IQ, that was so gay of me. I'll be right back. Oh, oh. And I just pee all down the f the back side of my banana. Ludwig, Twitch's golden boy who streams on YouTube. Honestly, doesn't make much sense, but whatever works for him, who am I to judge? He is definitely one of the biggest streamers on the platform, uh, you know, including YouTube and Twitch. I think he popped up on a lot of people's radars when he did his subathon, which lasted for a month or over a month, I believe. He is widely known for the events he puts on, things like chess boxing and uh, his most recent event, the dodgeball tournament. He recently bought a Valorant esports team with uh, Moist Critical. So he's a streamer that takes on the responsibility, I think, uh, very seriously. And I think he's a streamer that continues to push the medium. And I don't think he gets enough credit for how much he has done to legitimize streaming in the more mainstream sphere of things. So if you don't know Ludwig, you probably at least know one or two events he has put on if you're involved at all or watch any streaming. Now, who is Ludwig to me? Ludwig represents the middle of my streaming experience as an audience member. Uh, it was 2020 and I think like a lot of other people, I was looking for something to do. When I found Ludwig, it really changed my perspective on what streaming could be. He's really open about the kind of inside baseball stuff when it comes to streaming. So as a content creator myself, a lot of the advice and stuff he talks about and just how he approaches streaming and content creation uh, really is invaluable to me. So that's, that's why I watch him and why I wanted to create this fan art. There's less elements than the Squeaks art for what inspired me for the Ludwig art. There was mainly just one, right? I talk about all these events that Ludwig puts on. So what's the extreme version of, of bringing a community together, having this these massive events and just keep trying to one up yourself, trying to bring more and more people into the fold? A cult, very similar to Scientology, I see Ludwig, one in the same. With that single element in mind, I created a fan art of Ludwig, of a version of him that's almost starving. You have the physical starvation of him not wanting to even leave the camera because he's so devoted to his followers. And then you also have the psychological starving of his need for attention. He is seemingly stuck to this chair, streaming forever, wanting to do more and more for himself and his community embodies this uh, savior-like complex as he slowly rots away and dies on stream. So that, that was the idea with that one. So these are all kind of, you know, tongue in cheek, kind of funny. The joke, what, the, what was funny about it? Uh, the subtext of all of this, right? The joke um, about him dying, the funny thing about all of the, 
So the joke. And honestly, I'm really happy with how it came out. It obviously fits my style perfectly. It's super weird and uh, kind of disgusting. The one thing I did keep, I mean, his hair. He doesn't have to sculpt Mario to get that, that head of hair he has. As someone who is, you know, follically challenged myself in, in some ways, uh, I, I could only show appreciation for the hair. So Ludwig, if you ever happen to see this, at least you got a good head of hair on you if you ever degrade into a version of yourself that is is starving and dying on stream live at least you'll look good doing it man with the completion of the ludwig art we move on to the final streamer in this timeline before getting into the you know marvel's extended universe of streamers which i'd have kind of gotten into because of ludwig the one before was northern lion let's go let's freaking go freaking take the controller and i place it down gently on the desk because it's just tetris you want two houses you motherfucker you do admitting that shit in this chat you gotta get it get to the safe how we got an escape tunnel under the stream oh, i'm entering my mind palace goodbye that was fun <laughs> the super sucker come jetting machine All right, we've made the full journey around the house. We're back in the office to talk about the final fan art that I completed for Northern Lion. If you're unfamiliar with Northern Lion, he is a variety game streamer, and he also plays a lot of indie games on stream. But I think his influence is overlooked in the whole streaming sphere. There seems to be a saying that uh, Northern Lion is your favorite streamer's favorite streamer, and he just seems to have that kind of quality about him. He has a, a breadth of knowledge and a, and a way with words that I think a lot of streamers take inspiration from. For a lot of streamers and content creators, myself included, you know, we hold uh, seeds of Northern Lion. I think I want to rephrase what I just said. The way Northern Lion presents himself and how he interacts with his community has had a huge impact on a lot of streamers in a lot of ways that I don't think can be completely quantified. I mean, even when it comes to individual indie games, things like The Binding of Isaac, Slay the Spire, and a bunch of other that he seemed to have a hand in pushing towards a larger market. I've personally been watching Northern Lion since 2010 or 2011. He's had a huge hand in, in how my humor developed as I was going through high school. I remember all through my university years, I'd wake up every morning, drink a cup of coffee, and watch a uh, an Isaac episode. But as I've done with the other fan arts, we can't stay on a serious note too, too long, so let's get into the fan art. For Northern Line, there are two main elements that kind of pushed me in a certain direction that I wanted to touch on. The first of those elements was the existence of two Northern Lions. There are two wolves inside of you. And if you're familiar with Northern Lion, you're aware of this kind of odd dichotomy he juggles as a streamer and content creator. There is one like this. The prevailing theory of the current state of the universe is that the Big Bang happened. Super concentrated matter exploded and expanded over billions of years. That expansion and the coalescing and the increase in entropy and the decrease in temperature and the increase in temperature has led to the celestial bodies and so on and so forth. And then there is another Northern Lion like this the, the, literally like the only thing that can stop us you're right now man i'm like, stunlocked because i don't i can't believe like, you haven't figured right. out the if squad strategy i'm not gonna let you among us me here motherfucker i've been off for a week i can shout as good as anybody in the damn discord call the second element that i wanted to touch on was northern lion's pursuit of physical health so i wanted to combine the absolute rage and, and mental faculties he has with his own physical journey of, of of making himself healthier i think it came out weird and great at the same time. I really like how the snicker bar dick veins look across his entire body. Uh, don't clip that out of context or even within context. I think it captures the idea that I wanted to with Northern Lion, but I'm happy with how the Squeaks art came out. I'm happy with how the Ludwig art came out and I'm happy with how the Northern Lion art came out. I hope the communities and you know where I shared it appreciated it. The project started out kind of loose and, and found its footing along the way as I worked on it. And now I have these three fan arts that kind of encapsulate my journey through streaming. Northern Lion representing, you know, the start. And then you have Ludwig, which kind of expanded my horizons. And finally, you have Squeaks, who represents kind of where I am uh, as a viewer now. There's a lot of streamers that I'm finding. Uh, Hassan, Will Neff, 
Cutie Cinderella. Cinderella, obviously a lot through Ludwig. There's many that I watch kind of offhand, people like Germa and, and Pirate Software. As far as it comes to Ludwig, Northern Lion, and Squeaks, you're safe now. No more fan arts for you guys. But if you have a streamer that you enjoy and you think I will enjoy, put it down below. I'll, I'll check them out. With all that said, the project was really fun for me. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you do like the video, consider liking and subscribing. All the links down below to all my other stuff. I also started a VOD channel. So if you want to, for some reason, watch me draw a bald angry man for two and a half hours, that's now on the internet. So I'll link that as well. And I would also like to thank Northern Lion, Ludwig, and Squeaks for unwittingly being part of this project. Again, this is all from a place of love. That's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Stay a stranger, stay my friend.